this week I'm looking at the Big Bang Theory door that I've been working on. Um, this commission piece is relatively new. I was talking about it in the last video, but now I've made some good progress on it so far. As you can see, we've got the both sides of the door. This is kind of the main structure for it. Um, I've literally um, printed off as well the um, like the flooring, uh, which is like a wooden floor on the one side, which is that's inside the apartment, and then this side is uh, the outside of the apartment, so the um, the hallway. Now the door um, it does it does actually come apart. Um, and currently, you can remove the door and have a, a better look. So I did. I've done all this rivet detail um, around the both sides of the door, which is that's in keeping with the references. That's that's how it is. Um, and so that is literally just um, plastic rod dipped in some super glue and then placed in um, a pre-drilled hole. And then I literally, with a bit of some snips, just cut the uh, plastic rod off, and it means then that you know it gets a uh, a close cut. You know, doesn't get rid of it all, but um, just enough to kind of leave the rivet out. Um, and then I can take the uh, Dremel over there, the uh, the, the rotary blade, and um, you know sand them down if I want to. The uh, handle detail that's been quite a, a nice little little piece. I've done on both sides. That was literally just um, taking a piece of plastic rod and um, and then getting the the cutter on the Dremel, the uh, the wheel, and it's uh, just scoring a, a line um, around it uh, to make like a little indent. And then it's a case of getting the f file. And um, yeah, filing down that um, that groove, which will resulted in miniature handles. So yeah, so I've just created the uh, kind of base for the handles as well, so that um, you know it's got something to sit on, and um, and then there's like kind of like this lock. Um, I suppose above. I'm not quite sure what it is actually on the references, but. Um, it's a detail that I've tried to do. I'm probably going to sand those little rivets down a little bit more, but, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And it's all built on um, some like five millimeter thick clear acrylic. It gives a little bit of thickness, a little bit of weight to the door. So yeah, I've um, just started to add this uh, like black surround to the um, base of the um, the piece, just to kind of help with the look of things. Um, I'm going to do, you can, you can see, I'm going to do um, a strip down there as well just to kind of tidy that up. But um, yeah, and then I'll probably add um, some as well here, just round things, you know, just to neaten it up. Obviously, um, you know, this needs to be primed and painted. Um, the door itself needs to be painted. So those are things that I've got to, to do soon, um, you know, and it uh, should be... Um, pretty good but um, there's some furniture as well that's got to go on this side so the little cabinet here that um, sits up against the wall um, and that kind of has some keys on and things and a little bowl so that's quite a nice little detail to to be able to do there's also a dartboard on the back of the door which you can see in the references actually I might as well just show you um, so that's really really quite a nice little detail to do um yeah and so this side um there isn't too much actually there's a light that fits here that um it's never really on it's just um something that um, it, it just looks a certain way but i've ordered some resin um two-part resin to be able to do a little mold and try and um, have a play around with that to to get um get that kind of clear look to it um but yeah, um, generally, you know, so far, this is where we're at. But um, 